Good morning City Life. I hope you're well today. It's been a shocking week hearing of the abhorrent murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis in the States. I'm sure like me you've just felt really impacted and just sad by all the stuff on social media and the news and we will be responding to these events as a leadership team and Paul will be putting something out later today. Please continue to pray. God's been speaking to me about my expectations of striving to achieve things to please him and others. When I was walking on the common recently and talking to him about my upset, mainly with myself, because my desire for a deeper prayer life, a soft, healed heart, wasn't happening quick, quickly enough or being easily achieved, I just felt disappointed and frustrated with myself because I wasn't seeing the results I felt I should. And I felt God wanted me to know and he reminded me that I'm on a journey and it's a journey that he wants me to enjoy. It's not one that needs me to measure what's been achieved, but it's about the journey with him, not the destination. I'm not sure how you tick. Maybe like me, you have expectations, maybe high expectations of yourself that can be difficult to fulfill and they can be enslaving even when they're good expectations to love and serve others, etc. But God doesn't have expectations of us. And where we have them of ourselves and of others, he wants to speak into those and he wants to release us. This is such good news. I've been reading John 15, looks at abiding in Jesus, living from this place of rest and grace rest and grace, sorry, rather than expectation. Jesus is the vine, we are the branches. And when we're vitally connected to Jesus as our source, this is the place of fruitfulness and abundance. A branch doesn't strive and strain to produce luscious, beautiful grapes. It just stays connected to the vine. What does this look like for me and you today to stay connected, talking to Jesus, in relationship with him throughout our day, in the ordinary, everyday things, the work, the family life, maybe being alone. Enjoying the journey with him, this is what I'm learning. Allowing him to nourish our hearts with his love. That's what he wants to do. We, we, are, we already are sitting and standing in a place of grace today. So I wanna declare this scripture over you as I finish. It's from 2 Corinthians 5, 21. It's one of my favorites. It says, for God made the only one who did not know sin to become sin for us, so that we who did not know righteousness might become the righteousness of God through our union with him. We are the righteousness of God today, city life. Allow that grace, undeserved, we are highly favoured and let's live from that place of love, abiding in him today. God bless you.